Hey guys, what's up? Rubik's Life here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial series on how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube using the CFOP method or the advanced method as you guys would call it. Now before we get started, I'm going to do this video in three different steps. No, actually four different steps. I'm going to do how to get the cross quickly, your F2L pairs, OLL, and PLL. So that's what I'm going to do, so stay tuned for all the four parts, but today you're watching part one. Alright guys, so let's get right into this thing. So let's start off with the recognition of this puzzle. Now the recognition is these pieces are called the edges that only have two stickers on them. The corner pieces are the pieces with three stickers and the centers are just the ones in the middle. Now I'm assuming you know this basically because you should already know beginner's method. If not, go watch a video on how to do a beginner's method, but this is just if you want to get faster times. Like for me, I average around 22 seconds, so that's what method I use, and it gets you pretty fast times. So edges, corners, and centers, I'm gonna be solving on white cross. Um, you guys can solve it on any cross you want, it's just I learned on white, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to go ahead and scramble up the cube, and we'll be right back. Okay, so first thing what you want to do is you'll have 15 seconds of inspection during the uh, competition times. If you go to competition, you have 15 seconds, that's WCA regulation. So what I do is whenever you solve in beginner's method, you have the cross on top, you look for your pieces, and you try to line them up, you bring them to the bottom, and line them up, right? That's how you would solve it. Um, but that's not how I'm going to solve it. What I'm going to do is if you can turn the cube over so the yellow side is on the top, or and your cross color is on the bottom. So now what you do during inspection is you can see you already have a blue, ple a blue piece lined up here. I see a green piece which needs to go back here. I see an orange and I see my red. Now I can see the reds already lined up so what I would do during a solve is I'd plan it out. So what I see is I can turn this down. So I'm going to turn that down to put it in a place. I see the orange one I can turn and put that in a place which will bring the green one right up here. And now what I can do is I can do a D move which will bring the empty space right here. So now I can bring this down without affecting anything, and then bring it back. And that's how you solve the cross. Okay, so another strategy for solving the cross is solving in opposites or different color schemes. Now for this scramble, it's lined up. You could bring this down. You can move this and solve it, right? But that was a bunch of moves, which is not what you want to do. What you want to do is have the ability to memorize the color scheme. So like knowing that there's orange, red, yellow, blue, green, and white without looking around at the colors. So you want to just cover it up and guess or learn and memorize the color scheme so you can solve the cross differently. So you guys can see this one's lined up, but if I bring the red down, it's lined up with the blue. So what I can do, I know my color scheme that orange is opposite red. So I can do a D prime to bring the red opposite, I mean the orange opposite, and the red over here, so that way I have opposites. So if I tried to line them up, I'd have orange and white, and then red and white. So that's what I want. So next thing I see is I see there's a blue piece here. So I can turn the blue up to its opposite, which means I need to bring these two pieces I already have together to their opposites. So red is opposite orange, so I'm gonna bring it over here. So that's at its opposite, and this piece is at its opposite. Now the blue piece is already at its opposite, so I can just do an F, which will bring that down and bring all three to their opposites. Now the last edge piece that we're going to solve is the green. Now the green is lined up, so if I try to solve it, it push the blue piece out. So that's not what we want to do. Now the place that the green piece wants to go, or needs to go, is right here. But to doing this, doing a U2, B2, isn't the quickest way to do that. What you can do is just do a D2, which will line every piece up that you've already solved, because we made them their opposites, and then doing an F2 to bring that down. 
And that's how you solve the white cross for advanced method. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to comment if you guys want to see more of the series where I teach you how to solve the rest of the cube in advanced method. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Share this video with other people who you think might like this video. And also like, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.